Ever wondered how shrimps are farmed? Today, we delve into the intriguing world of shrimp aquaculture. Shrimp farming, a booming sector within aquaculture, is as fascinating as it is relevant. It's not just about cultivating these delectable crustaceans for our plates, but also about nourishing a sustainable industry that contributes significantly to global seafood production. An ancient practice that originated in Southeast Asia, shrimp farming has now gained popularity worldwide, from the lush paddy fields of Thailand to the expansive coastal plains of Ecuador. With technological advancements and innovative farming methods, the shrimp farming industry continues to grow and evolve, bringing forth a plethora of opportunities for aquaculture enthusiasts. It's a world where science meets tradition, where patience yields profit, and where tiny creatures command a mighty industry. If you're enjoying our content so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to Farming Know How for more farming insights. Before diving into the specifics, it's crucial to understand the fundamentals of shrimp farming. Shrimp farming, in essence, is the cultivation of shrimp in controlled environments for commercial purposes. This occupation, while requiring a certain level of knowledge and skill, has the potential to be quite profitable and rewarding. So what does shrimp farming entail? Well, at its core, it involves the breeding, rearing, and harvesting of shrimp. It's a process that takes place over several stages, from the hatching of shrimp eggs to the growth of juvenile shrimps, and finally, their maturation into fully grown, market-ready shrimps. Each stage requires careful monitoring and management to ensure the shrimp's health and growth. Now, there are several types of shrimps that are commonly farmed. These include the Pacific white shrimp, the giant tiger prawn, and the Indian white shrimp, to name a few. Each variety has its unique traits and requirements, so it's important to choose the type that's most suited to your farming conditions and market demand. Speaking of conditions, shrimps generally require warm, salty water to thrive. They also need a well-balanced diet of specially formulated feed to grow properly. In addition, the water quality in the shrimp ponds needs to be maintained at optimal levels, as poor water quality can lead to disease outbreaks and lower yields. Furthermore, the shrimp farming environment should be designed to mimic the natural habitat of the shrimp as closely as possible. This includes providing adequate space for the shrimps to move around, as well as hiding places where they can seek shelter. To sum it up, shrimp farming is a complex process that requires a good understanding of the shrimp's biology, their environmental needs, and the market dynamics. It's not just about filling a pond with water and throwing in some shrimp. It's about creating a sustainable environment where shrimps can grow and thrive, while also ensuring a steady supply of quality product for your customers. Now that we have a basic understanding, let's move on to the more technical aspects. Setting up a shrimp farm might seem daunting, but with careful planning, it's entirely possible. So, let's dive into what you'll need to turn this dream into reality. First, you'll need some essential equipment and infrastructure. This includes a shrimp hatchery, grow-out ponds, and a processing facility. The hatchery is where your shrimp will breed and the larvae will grow. The grow-out ponds are where the shrimp will mature, and the processing facility is where you'll prepare your shrimps for sale. Now let's talk about the ideal location for your shrimp farm. You'll want to find a place with a reliable source of clean water. This could be a natural body of water like a river or a lake, or a well. The water quality is crucial for the health of your shrimp, so make sure it's free from pollutants and has the right salinity levels. Next, consider the size of your farm. This will depend on how many shrimp you plan to farm, and how much space you have available. A small farm might be just a few acres, while a large operation could cover several hundred acres. Remember, you can always start small and expand later as your business grows. Also, don't forget about biosecurity measures. Installing fencing around your farm and implementing strict cleanliness protocols can help prevent diseases from affecting your shrimps. And lastly, ensure you have a reliable source of shrimp feed. This could be commercial shrimp feed, or you could consider growing your own algae or plankton. Once you've got all this in place, you're well on your way to becoming a shrimp farmer. Just remember, starting a shrimp farm is a big commitment. It requires time, money, and a lot of hard work. But with careful planning and a bit of perseverance, it's an entirely achievable goal. So, you've got your farm set up. What's next? Let's explore. Now that your farm is ready, it's time to get your hands dirty with the farming process. Let's break down the shrimp farming process into manageable steps. First, we have the feeding routine. Much like humans, shrimps require a balanced diet to grow and thrive. It's crucial to provide them with high-quality commercial feed, rich in proteins, minerals, and vitamins. Feed them twice a day, once in the morning and again in the evening. 
Remember, overfeeding can lead to water pollution, so be sure to adjust the feeding rate based on the shrimp's appetite and growth. Next, we move on to maintaining water quality. The health of your shrimps is directly linked to the quality of the water in which they live. Regularly monitor water parameters like temperature, pH, salinity, and dissolved oxygen levels. A sudden change in any of these parameters can stress your shrimps and make them susceptible to diseases. Use aeration devices to maintain oxygen levels and consider using BioFlock technology to naturally filter and recycle water. Finally, we can't stress enough the importance of monitoring the shrimp's health. Regular health checks can help you spot any signs of disease early on. Look out for changes in behavior, like decreased feeding or erratic swimming, as these could be early warning signs. Also pay attention to their color and body condition. Healthy shrimps should have a vibrant color and a firm body. If you notice any abnormalities, it's best to consult with a veterinary expert immediately. Remember, shrimp farming isn't a set-it-and-forget-it kind of venture, it requires daily attention and care. But don't be discouraged. With time, you'll get the hang of it, and it will become second nature. After all, the key to successful shrimp farming lies in understanding the needs of your shrimps and creating an environment in which they can thrive. Shrimp farming requires consistency and attention to detail, but what happens when things go wrong? Shrimp farming isn't always smooth sailing. It's essential to be prepared for potential challenges. There are several common problems shrimp farmers face, and we're going to discuss a few of them, and most importantly, how to deal with them effectively. Firstly, diseases are a significant concern in shrimp farming. Viral infections, bacterial diseases, and parasites can severely impact shrimp health and productivity. The key to managing this is prevention. Regular health checks, maintaining optimal water conditions, and using disease-resistant shrimp species can go a long way in preventing outbreaks. Next, we have predators. Predators such as birds, crabs, and larger fish can cause significant losses in shrimp populations. To deal with this, farmers often use nets or covers to protect their shrimp ponds. It's also beneficial to maintain a proper pond environment that doesn't attract these predators. Then there's the issue of water pollution. Shrimp farming requires clean, unpolluted water for optimal growth. Pollutants can affect shrimp health and lead to lower yields. Effective water management strategies are crucial here. Regular water testing, proper waste disposal, and the use of biofilters to naturally clean the water can help maintain water quality. Lastly, let's talk about weather conditions. Extreme weather can damage infrastructure, disrupt feeding schedules, and alter water temperatures, all of which can negatively impact shrimp health and growth. To mitigate this, it's crucial to have contingency plans in place, like backup power for aeration systems and using pond liners to maintain water temperature. Remember, these challenges might seem daunting, but with the right knowledge and preparation, they can be managed effectively. It's all about being proactive, staying informed, and adapting to changing circumstances. Despite the challenges, the rewards of shrimp farming can be very fulfilling. Let's wrap things up. After all that hard work and dedication, it's time to reap the fruits of your labor. Shrimp farming, like any other venture, is rewarding both in a financial sense and in the satisfaction it brings. Yes, there's the obvious profit potential, given the ever-growing demand for this seafood delicacy, but beyond the monetary gains, there's the gratifying feeling of seeing the shrimps you've nurtured from larvae grow into a bountiful harvest. The joy of knowing that you're contributing to food security, providing a sustainable and healthy food source, is a reward in itself. Plus, there's the thrill of mastering a new skill, the knowledge that you've successfully navigated the challenges of shrimp farming, and the anticipation of further improving your farming techniques. That's all for today's insight into shrimp farming. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Farming Know-How for more farming tips and tricks.